Welcome to Bite Size Science. I'm Anubhav. I'm a scientist at Pfizer and today I'm going to tell you how vaccines help to protect us against germs such as viruses. A virus is very small and we can't really see it unless we use a special microscope. When a virus attacks our body, what it's trying to do is invade our cells and increase its numbers. This invasion is called infection and it's this infection that makes us sick. But our bodies are smart. You may have heard of the immune system. The job of the immune system is to protect us and it does that in more than one way. For example, when a virus tries to attack us through our respiratory system, which starts with the nose, our immune system produces a lot of mucus. And this mucus tries to catch the virus and flush it out. And that's why sometimes we get a snotty nose. So it might be gross, but your snot helps to protect you. The other thing our immune system does is it sends some special cells called leukocytes to find the virus and kill it. These cells are like little superheroes which live in our blood and there are many types of them. One of these little superheroes is called a B cell. When a B cell sees the virus, it makes special sticky weapons called antibodies. These antibodies lock onto the virus like a Velcro and destroy it. When all the virus is gone from our body, we feel much better. But that's not the end of it. Our B cells also have a very sharp memory. And now they're trained to make antibodies. They stay in our system even after the infection is gone and guard us. And if the same virus was to attack us again, because they remember what it looks like, they're able to destroy it even before we get sick. So that's our immune system. But where do vaccines come into the picture? And if our immune system is able to deal with the viruses, why do we even need vaccines? Well, sometimes if the virus is very fast at multiplying or very good at hiding, our immune system cannot see it quickly enough. And when that happens, we can lose that battle and become very sick. But that's where science comes to our rescue. Science which has helped us develop vaccines. The job of a vaccine is to protect us from getting sick. And it's important to remember that it's very different from a medicine that we take after we get sick to help us feel better. A vaccine contains a completely harmless form or a part of the virus which can cause a disease. To make a vaccine, the virus is either killed, weakened or smashed into little parts. But when our immune system sees the vaccine, it thinks it's a real virus. So it triggers an immune response and gets ready to make antibodies. This training by a vaccine prepares our body to make the antibodies really quickly in the future. And if we were to encounter the real virus sometime later, we stay protected. You might wonder that if it's possible to develop this kind of ability to protect ourselves from future infections just by getting infected, why do we need this training by vaccines? Well, vaccines don't make us sick like the real virus does, which can be really dangerous when it comes to life-threatening diseases. Also, with the real virus, there's always a risk of spreading the disease to people around us, which we don't have with vaccines. We also need to remember that some people cannot be vaccinated because either they are very young, very old or very sick. But if everyone around them was vaccinated, we can protect them by something called herd immunity. It's like putting a fence around the people who need our help so that they don't come in contact with the virus. So vaccines train our body to fight viruses without getting hurt and without hurting others. In fact, vaccines prevent more than two and a half million people from dying every year. That's all we have on vaccines today. Stay on this channel for more bite-sized science.